sin and grant you eternal life. <clears throat> now keep in mind, we're not out here talking about religion. We're talking about Jesus Christ. It's about a relationship with God. Something that most religions don't offer. In fact, I don't think any religion offers that. There's a popular website that categorizes over 4,200 different religions. That's a religion that has some office and some statement of belief and some group of followers of that religion. <clears throat> but you see, it doesn't matter what you believe, it only matters what's true. You might believe that the stars are going to score 50 points today, or that the stars are going to win the Stanley Cup, and that might happen, but whether you believe it or not, what happens happens, what's true is true. So of these 4,200 religions, you can follow anyone you want. We're just here to share the truth with you. In John chapter 14, Jesus says, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am you may also be. And you know the way to where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. You see, there's all these religions, there's all these different ways. People claim all these same ways, all these ways lead to the same place. But Jesus said the only way to heaven, the only way to God is through Him. You see, if you want to get into this game today, you've got to have a ticket. If you have a ticket to a game that's tomorrow, you won't get in. If you have a ticket to a concert, even though it's in this stadium, you won't get in. You have to have the ticket to this game to get in. When you die, you're going to face God on Judgment Day. Yes, sir, you will die one day. You're not, you're not going to beat those odds. Ten out of ten people die. If you can beat those odds, you ought to go to Vegas. It's appointed once for man to die, and then comes judgment. And on that day of judgment, you'll face God. He'll judge you based on his perfect moral law, the Ten Commandments. So you got to ask yourself how you'll do. Have you ever told a lie, sir? Yeah? What do you call someone that tells lies? A liar, right. Have you ever stolen anything? No? You never took anything that didn't belong to you? You just told me you were a liar. The Seventh Commandment says you shall not commit adultery. But Jesus said that if you even look at another person and lust after them, you've already committed adultery in your heart. So how will you do on Judgment Day? Will God find you innocent or guilty? Should he send you to heaven or hell? All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But you know, God does not want any to perish. He's made one way of escape. There's one mediator between man and God, the person, Jesus Christ. But sees more than a person. Some religions would say, no, Jesus is just a man, or he's the best man, or he's a prophet. But the Bible says that Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. 